glory, adoration to our immortal God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for entrusting your word in mortal cells like us and even back them up with signs and wonders. We are so grateful in Jesus' mighty name. And amen. And amen. Our Bible text for today is taken from the book of Samuel chapter 10. For Samuel chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. For Samuel chapter 10, 13 to 16. And when he has made an end of prophesying, he came to the high place. And Saul's uncle said unto him and to his servant, Whither went ye? And he said, To seek the asses. And when we saw that they were nowhere, we came to Samuel. And Saul's uncle said, Tell me, I pray thee, what Samuel said unto you. And Saul said unto his uncle, He told us plainly that the ass were found, but the matter of the kingdom whereof Samuel spoke, he told him not. Hallelujah. May this scripture bring glorification to our Lord and give healing, strength, hope, comfort, and salvation to all heirs in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, about Father. Amen and amen. We want to welcome all our dear viewers to this week's edition of Faith Clinic that is entitled Don't Tell Your Dream to Dream Killers. Don't Tell Your Dream to Dream Killer. Thank you, about Father. Amen. A problem shared is half solved. It's a common popular says. But my viewers, the problem of Joseph started when he told his dream to his brother, who were not dreamers at all. And it landed him in a dried pit. Well, I pray, I pray for you. You will not be thrown into the depth well of life in the mighty name of Jesus. He told his brothers. He landed in to be sold to slavery. And from slavery to prison. Glory be to God. For Jehovah was with him. And as he said in Genesis 52, Joseph said in Genesis chapter 50, verses 20, But as for you, you taught evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save most people alive. Thank you, Jehovah. Beloved. Thank God that God was with him. But the sincere truth is how many ask the fear of God that can attract God's divine presence in all situations, in this dispensation? How many of us that the level of our fear of God is to the level of Joseph that can attract God that wherever you are, either in prison, in the pit, as a slave, God is going to be with you. Don't tell your vision to non-visionary. No. Please. Not just anybody. Don't tell your dreams to anybody with small mindset. His mind is too small to comprehend what the eyes has not seen, nor come to the heart of a man. That great thing 
that God wants to do in your life. His eye, his mind cannot comprehend it. I'm encouraging you at this time. Don't tell your dream to non-dreamers. They don't understand it. Anyone who does not have a dream, don't tell your dream to them. A company of fools shall be destroyed, says the Bible. They will contradict your dream. Thank you about Father. That is why James chapter 3, verses 1 to 8, the book of James chapter 3, verses 1 to 8, it taught us to be through our tongues. He taught us, be through your tongues. To put a key into our mouth. Samson. A Nazareth by birth. He was born Nazareth. He shortened his destiny because he did not be through his tongues. I pray for you. Your tongue will not send you to timely grave. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, about Father. Bidu your tongues. Do you know that your friends can determine how far you can go with your dreams? I mean, the type of associate to keep. Don't keep associate with non-dreamers before they begin to even yourself before you begin to dis disbelieve your own dream. By the time when they are missed, they begin to say words that even you yourself you begin to lose interest in your dream, you begin to disbelieve yourself, your dream. Evil association, corrupt good manner, says the Bible, First Corinthians 15 33. Don't tell your dream to non dreamers. King Saul, the first king of Israel. Life has just changed after he met with Prophet Samuel, as we read in our Bible text for today. His level has changed. Nobody knew. Suddenly, his level has changed. He is now sitting in high places with decision makers, with king makers, like Samuel. Who can enthrone? Who can dethrone? His level has changed. Not only that, he was even given insight in the hidden things. The Bible says he prophesies. Thank you, Jehovah. He has changed. His level has changed. But on arriving home, his uncle was asking him to tell all that was compiled. Listen to what he said. Let's look at what he said in first in first Samuel chapter 10, verse 16. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 16. And he said, And so said unto his uncle, He told us plainly that the asses was found, but the matter of the kingdom where of Samuel spark, he told him not. Hallelujah. Saul refused to tell his uncle about the kingdom matter that that on my way, I met three categories of destiny helper. He doesn't mention it to his uncle. He doesn't mention to his uncle that he has eaten in high places with prophets like Samuel. He doesn't tell him. He doesn't tell his uncle that, oh, I have been anointed king of Israel. He doesn't tell him. He doesn't tell his uncle that things have changed. I've prophesied. He never mentioned these things to his uncle. Beloved, whosoever shut his mouth, save his soul. Even in top professions, there's what they call professional secrecy. Thank you, about Father. Don't tell your vision. To his sin. Is believing person, they will tell you it's only what I say I believe. Don't tell your dream to them. Jesus told us in the book of Matthew 7 6. Let's have a look. 
thank you about father matthew chapter 7 the verse 6 of it matthew 7 6 and say give not that which is only unto the dog neither cast ye your power before swine lest they trample them under the feet and turn again and render you thank you about father jesus is teaching us here that thing that is holy that is precious don't give it to the dogs they will not appreciate it don't let them smell it let them wait let them wait don't let them smell it oh thank you jehovah we we'll look at the book of mark chapter 9 verse 1 to 9 in the book of mark chapter 9 verse 1 to 9 and lord jesus christ he took three of his disciples apart to a high mountain to be transfigured before before them and when they are finished can we hear what jesus told them mark mark chapter 9 let's look at the verse 9 mark chapter 9 verse 9 thank you jehovah and as they came down from the mountain he charged them that they should tell no man what things they have seen till the son of man was risen from death thank you jehovah he told them don't tell anybody till the day until the day of manifestation beloved i've come to encourage you before you are sent to the pit of of life before you are sold out into slavery like joseph before you have you are you you have sent into prison with, from false accusation don't tell your vision your dream to anyone who does not have the same dream or vision or even greater than yours don't tell them your dream let them wait till the day of manifestation i've come to encourage you today you will fulfill your dream you will fulfill your as aspiration in the name of Jesus. that vision that vision even that visibility study the lord will give you grace you will execute it in the mighty name of jesus guide your dream their viewers and your vision with prayers guide them with prayers because the more you pray concerning your dream and your vision the more it become clearer and plain because it is in the place of prayer you will receive direction and help from jehovah we look at the book of proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 say trust in the lord with all thy heart and learn not on thy own understanding in all thy way acknowledge him and he will direct thy path and speaking to somebody today the lord will direct your path into your dream in the mighty name of jesus he will direct your path in that your vision in the mighty name of jesus thank you father dear viewers for every dream of vision we needed a destiny helper we needed a transporter i mean we needed a platform in which we can stand i mean people that are relevant for every elisha you can see elijah for every joshua you can see moses for every timothy you can see paul for every daddy G O, you can see a at akinda yomi and this destiny ever can only come away to an effectual fervent prayers I stand to pray for you nothing will kill your dream or your vision in the mighty name of Jesus don't be deceived anything pertaining to dream and vision can mostly achieve first in the place of prayer thank you father first in the place of prayer but the question is how can you call on him you don't know if you don't know jesus you 
can call Jehovah, you can call God. And then the very short word confession, why not acknowledge Jesus at this time? Why don't you give your life to Jesus and by saying and say, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as the only becoming son of God. Come, I invite you. I surrender my life unto you. Be my Lord and my personal savior. Take charge of my life. And lead me to fulfill my dream and my vision. That your name alone will be glorified. For in Jesus' name I confess. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. It will help and send a part to you to fulfill your dream and your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. No one will cover your star. He will shield you. And he will remove obstacles out of your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your dream will come to pass. It shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah, because you are a faithful God. And amen and amen. For your testimony, prayer agreement, and counseling, you can see our contact on this screen. Join us next week, Thursday, by His Grace, founder edition of Faith Clinic. Till then, stay connected and stay in Christ. Beloved, it is not only social distance. I encourage you to keep spiritual distance from those sins. All those things that can kill a man and send it to hellfire. When Christ will come, you will be among a saint in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Shalom. <laughs>